Hello, I'm Rob, and today we're looking at transferring databases between server PCs. Need to migrate some critical databases from one Windows server to another? Well, this video provides five ways on how to do this. By far the simplest is to use the EaseUs to do PC Trans app. The four other methods will also be shown. Let's go through each one now, starting with the EaseUs to do PC Trans app, which supports SQL Server, MySQL, and Oracle. You can easily migrate the database by simply setting up the two computers within the same local area network. Start by downloading it from the link in the video description and run it. Launch the app on your source and destination PCs. Make sure both are connected to the internet. On the PC to PC section, click start to continue. Choose which PC you're on. I'm currently on the old PC to copy to the new target, so I'm choosing old here. Click connect to continue. Select the applications, files and accounts to transfer via the internet. Once you've chosen what you need, click transfer and the app will handle the rest. Easy right? Ok, let's move on to the next method. You can copy the database from one server to another using the copy database wizard built into the SQL Server Management Studio. Be aware there are some limitations. The copy database wizard is not available in the Express Edition. A database can't be moved or copied to an earlier version of SQL Server and the copy database wizard can't be used to copy or move databases that are system, marked for replication, marked inaccessible, loading, offline, recovering, suspect or in emergency mode. Open SQL Server Management Studio and follow these steps. Right click on the database and select Tasks, Copy Database. Click Next. Select the source server by entering the source server name. Use Windows Authentication or SQL Server Authentication mode with username and password to enter the server. Click Next. Enter the destination server name and apply the authentication information. Click Next. Between the two transfer methods, choose to use the SQL management object method and click next. Now you arrive at the step where you can choose a specific database. After selecting the database, there are options to move or copy the selected database. Tick copy if you wish to keep it on the original server, otherwise tick move, which will move the database to the next server. Now you can check the MDF and log file path on the destination machine. Follow the wizard to the final step. Once successful, you can see the database according to its name is on the right path of the destination server machine. The next method is to use SQL Server Management Studio's Backup and Restore. Right click the database and select Tasks, then Backup. Make sure that the backup type here is full. Click Add and specify the location and backup name. After creating the full backup on the source server computer, you'll need to copy the created backup file to the other server. Open SQL Server Management on the destination computer, right click the SQL Server instance and select Restore Database. Here select Device and you'll choose the created backup files on the source location and restore it to the destination location on the new PC. Method 4. Open Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. Right click the database and choose Tasks. Click the drop down, choose the data source, server name and database. Next choose a destination. Select Source, Tables and Views and Next. You can now copy and import it on your other server. Finally, the last method also uses the SQL Server Management Studio. Right click the database, Tasks, Generate Scripts. Next, with Choose Object selected, choose a specific database object. Under the Set Scripting options, choose Output Type and select Advanced. Choose Save to New Query Window. In the advanced scripting options, choose schema and data from the drop down list and click OK. I hope that helps you copy your database. Thanks for watching, subscribe, share and like this video for more in the future. See you later.